You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Oh boy! We want to use synthetic division. Ugh. Get out of here. To determine whether a number is a zero of a function. Yeah. Let's um be nice with it. All right, so what do we need to do? We need to go all synthetic, so I make that array. And I say, all right, I'm gonna put my coefficients in there. If there isn't anything written in front of the x, then it's assumed to be a one, fun. So I see this is imaginary, and I'm gonna leave myself a little bit of room because of um, forethought. Then I thought that's that nine and then that minus 18. Notice now that the minus sticks with the coefficient. Yeah. All right. Let's get up in here, cuz if this is a zero of a polynomial, what happens there? Nothing. If this is a zero of the polynomial, then hopefully we get nothing. If not, it's not. So then we go and we put the potential zero on the outside. So that's a 2i. Then I bring down that one fun. Then it's this one times that one. Put it there. All right. So then that's going to be a 1 times a 2i is a 2i. Then I have to add their real parts and their imaginary parts. Oh, boy. Hey. Um... Yeah, we can go up here. What am I saying? A plus bi, that's a complex form. Yeah, so uh, A is the real part and B is the imaginary part. So, oh, hey, ah, there. Oh, yeah, okay, here. Uh huh. So this is plus zero i. Oi, now what? I need to add the real part. Zero with that minus two. Ooh. And then I add the imaginary part, the two i and the no i. Then I get two i. Bam. Just like that. I like that. Oh, because what? I added them crooked on down. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, it was just like that. Okay, now what? I take this one times that one. And I put it there. So I'll put it here. Yeah. I take that 2i and I multiply it by that minus 2 plus 2i. All right. So then I go in there and that's a minus 4i. <laughs> Would you call me? Get on over here. Yeah. All right. And then that in there. So the 2 times the 2 makes you 4. Sure. And then the i times the i is i squared. But we know um, up here this is i squared squared that evaluates to minus one and that's how that got to be a minus four because that's a minus four i plus wait for it a minus four yeah why because i squared is minus one and minus one times four is four sure so when i get over there i'm going to go ahead and commute those two terms what do i mean i mean right here yeah mm, yeah all right so that was um minus four, minus four i. Then I gotta go and add the real part and the imaginary part. I'm gonna add it crooked on down. So then that's a nine minus a four, which is a five, all right? No i minus a four i is a minus four i. Ay, ay, ay. Then I need to take that, ooh, Hey, we're almost in frame over there. We are right here, all right. Then I'm gonna take that two i, multiply it by that uh, five minus four i. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's where you come in. So I'm taking that two i and I'm multiplying it by that, that, that five minus four i. <laughs> and then I go, ooh, ooh. two times five gonna get me 10 i, then i, I have that 2i times that minus 4, and that's a minus 8i squared. But what? Yeah. That i squared evaluates to be minus 1. Yeah. So that's going to be a minus and minus make plus. Yeah. Okay, so that's where that was. This is a minus 1 times a minus 8 grade weight. That's how I got that 8 positive 8, and then I still have that 10 i. So I'm gonna put that guy right there. Oh boy. I feel like I must have messed up because um, this isn't gonna turn out to be a zero, but um, if you find out where I messed up, then um, hit me up. So here we go. Um, ah, 
Dang. Okay, all right, that's fine. So now here we have eight plus 10i. Then I add straight on down, and I found that that is going to be a minus 10, okay, plus 10i, why? Because I'm adding that zero i to that 10i, then I gotta go figure out where I messed up, because I think this one's supposed to turn out to be a zero, but right now, if, eh, teachable moment, if, you don't get a zero there, then that is not a zero here. So maybe that's the way it worked out. I was wrong once. Turns out it was that time I thought I was wrong. <laughs> you can use that. What I use, I use direct substitution. To do what? I put the two i into the function so that I could check my synthetic division. Oh boy. So then I um, put it everywhere I saw an x. Then what? Uh, two to the third, eight i, I to the third minus, well, you. this would be a good place to pause. Okay, because after I did the arithmetic, complex arithmetic, I ended up getting, oh, look at that, the same thing.